Hi and welcome to a wonderful yoga session that helps you balance all the office work in front of a computer. So we're doing something for your pelvis, your lower spine and lower back and your wrists and shoulders and neck. Start by sitting in Caesar, knees hip width apart or together, whatever makes your knees feel comfortable. If there's any pain in the knee joint or behind the knees, feel free to pad yourself up and sit higher on a pillow or even on two. And free the pelvis by tilting it forward anteriorly with an exhale and with an inhale. Gather the breath and let it fall back to a posterior position. And balance in the middle, right at center, keeping the pelvis upright. And let's start moving to our wrists. Interlace your fingers and move your whole arms, shoulders wide and broad, in a wave-like motion. So imagine your lower arms and your wrists being like a wave on the ocean and keep the breath flowing. See if you can speed it up and keep the breath flowing at the same time, enjoying the release, the very gentle release for your wrists. Come into a counter stretch as you move forward with a straight back and turn the wrists out. So you can feel that the rotation of the arms are releasing your inner side of the arms, your shoulders, and maybe even the neck, as you see me doing here. And then come back up, offer your arms forward with an inhale, and with an exhale, pull the arms back, widening the collarbones and keeping the core and ribs integrated. As you interlace your fingers behind the back, feel free to bend your elbows and let the head drop forward, rolling back up, enjoying the breath flowing until the tip of your collarbones with an inhale. And with an exhale, lifting the arms even higher, freeing up the breath, so your lungs and your diaphragm have the full capacity of movement. Stay calm and breathing, taking in sips of breath and freeing up the neck and shoulder area. With an inhale, you may lift the arms higher and with an exhale, start with rotating your head very gently and consciously from side to side, keeping the shoulders completely stable are not moving at all and the breath is still flowing you can always go with an exhale to the side so you're releasing the upper trapezius and all the neck muscles that get tight from the head forward position in front of a screen come up with an inhale widening one more time and with an exhale releasing your arms but still keeping the width of your shoulders and then circling the shoulders back to feel the movement of the scapula gliding down your back and the wide collarbones remain. As we change position, coming forward again with a supported core with an inhale, placing the pillow to the side and with an exhale, turning forward onto hands and knees, going into Anahata Asana to release the back of the heart and freeing up the shoulders. But first, let's find a way our spine can move with the breath. So with every inhale, there's a supported rounding of your whole back. And with an exhale, there's this sinking with a straight back. Keep the core engaged so you feel the support from your roots. And make sure that there's no rigidity in your neck or shoulder area. And then come back up again with an inhale. And with an exhale, walk your knees forward placing your knees two fists width apart so your sit bones can be in total alignment and harmony with your knees as we start to mobilize the lower back pushing the floor away with an inhale rounding the upper back and with an exhale go into extension of the spine keeping the core engaged feel the release and stretch for the upper back and the lower back and elongation and curvature of the mid-back as you pulse here. With an inhale, roll back up, keeping wide collarbones into namaste arms and hands. And placing your hands on your hips, make sure that your pelvis is not tilting anteriorly, but you're keeping it upright as you did when sitting. Bring your arms to the front with an inhale. With an exhale, support your sacrum on your pelvis, your fingers pointing up or to the side. 
and find this neutral position of your pelvis again, widening the collarbones, freeing up the neck and head with an inhale, lifting the heart, and with an exhale, find this extension and long line from the base of your skull to your shoulders, so there's no crunching in the neck. And then if you wanna do and deepen, you can by flexing your feet and reaching for your heels, but make sure there's still this moving forward of the pelvis with an inhale, no pain in the lower back and a free neck. You can challenge the stability of your shoulders as you bring the left arm up with an inhale, finding the shoulders square, exhaling, releasing the back of the skull. And then with an exhale, return again with hand to heel or do the same thing as your hands rest on your sacrum. Let's go for the right arm, feeling the breath moving directly underneath your collarbones, your core still supporting you. And then finding with an inhale one more time the length. And with an exhale, either from your heels or from your sac sacrum, come back up, placing the feet on the floor again. Take your time and maybe you want to come even deeper to feet flat on the floor and finding full strasana or camel pose as we call it in yoga for reflection of the lower back, support of the core, so you have also the support of the core as you sit and the pelvis moving forward, the white collarbones, a back bend for all the slouching positions in the chair. Come up and out of the position with an inhale. With an exhale, allow the pelvis to tilt very gently, keeping it supported from the core and your abdominal muscles. And then sit back with a straight back before we move on into downward dog. It's an inverted V and your heels may or may not touch the floor. What is important here is the length of the lower back the squaring of the shoulders, the releasing of the head, and then moving from this elongated position with the knees bent and shoulders stable towards your palms and your wrists on the floor. And freeing up the neck one more time, and then with an exhale, keeping the spine extended as the pelvis leads the movement, tilting forward. And you're freeing up the whole danda or spine as we call it in yoga, including the cervical spine. So with an inhale, there's this rising up with a straight back and with an exhale, you're diving down, elongating the spine. You may use your hands on the floor and then stepping your feet a little bit wider. In fact, your feet can turn in and be parallel or turn out and be externally ro rotated as you see me doing here as we descend into a squat. Your heels may not touch the floor, so pat them up if they're in the air. And try to keep your pelvis at the same height or even lower than your knees. Elbows inside your knees. Elongating the lower back, finding the full breath again. And then with an inhale, freeing up the torso and upper body by twisting. And with an exhale, returning with elbow to knee. Inhale, keeping the head relaxed, twist to the other side. And then again, move the arms forward with an inhale. And with an exhale, you can place them on the floor if the following position is too challenging for you. Interlace your arms behind your back. Go into a C curve supported from your core or rounded back, keeping the heels on the floor and extending your arms up as if you would want to drag them over the crown of your head. With an inhale, lift up again. And with an exhale, place your hands consciously on the floor, keeping the neck relaxed and straightening the legs or straightening them to a degree with bent knees and then moving forward and back from heels to toes to free up the ankles from all rigidity. And then one more time back into downward dog freeing up the spine, keeping the spine supported from your core, or as in yoga, we call it Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha, which is your pelvic floor. And stretching out the back of your legs, elongating the lower back, and trying to find this sensation of length, supported length and strength from your core as you walk your hands back. 
and then with an exhale letting the pelvis tilt first so you may bend your knees and finding the elongation of your lower back your hands may come up on your shins as you do this so you have more space in the shoulders remember you want to keep the collarbones wide and then freeing up the neck again place your hands onto your thighs engage the core and slowly as if you would pull water up from the source rise you can free up your arms so they are actually dragging up feeling that as your shoulders roll back as we did in the beginning there's this lift of the sternum and closing your practice for today with a namaste release your wrists roll back your shoulders free up your head so you can be free from the ground up and move on with your day or close it Thank you for practicing and being here. We really appreciate Namaste.